Okay, so I've got a previous video uh, which was about this SATA adapter, USB to SATA adapter, um, and incompatibilities with certain operating systems. It works for most things, but some things don't boot, and one of them is Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. So let me just show you what happens with this adapter, and this is a dynamo adapter. I've got two of them. I've got another one on eBay for a fiver, uh, second-hand, without cable. But obviously, I don't need the cable because I've got another one. Um, but that's what they look like. I've just got it out of the casing because I'm switching over at the moment. I've got my very cheap uh, £12.32 gig SSD, uh, which is working fine, and I'll do some speed tests on it in a few days. So uh, let's switch it on and show that it boots up just as is. And this is so Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. Uh, it's just been written to the SSD. There's a new Raspberry Pi Imager software, and I don't know if that makes part of the difference. The actual Raspberry Pi 64-bit operating system hasn't changed, so this is the same one as I've always used. And I just missed the splash screen, but it's but safe to say that it's booting up, and it's booted up, so it's fine. So I'm going to shut that down, and I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to swap the cable over. So that's off. Let's unplug that use this SATA cable which is nice it's more solid to to plug in and out so if I'm hot swapping it's a nicer one to use so let's unplug show you the adapter there plug it in so now we're not using this dynamo adapter which is what I use for most of my videos we're using this Amazon one and it just flashed up with a screen but it just kind of does this, it just sits and waits. Uh, it sometimes reboots, uh, but it never really gets anywhere with this adapter. So it, it obviously doesn't like it with this particular OS, which is weird because I can boot uh, a, a very large build from a physical drive of RetroPie and it boots up absolutely fine. So I know it's not gonna work because I did it just now, uh, but I didn't have my microphone <laughs> plugged in, so I didn't get it. So I'll just unplug that. And I'm going to plug this into my Mac to just add a little file. So I've plugged it in. Again, I'm just using the single cable. I'm not using the extra power cable into my Mac. So the drive has shown up, and this is the boot drive. And if I go to the tip, you can see here it's from nicknet123, uh, and it says uh, it's commandline.txt, not config.txt. Uh, and this is the bit to add. So USB... Uh, right up to U. So let's copy that and command line dot text. Oh, I don't know where to add it. I guess I'm going to put a space in and just pop it down there. See what happens. So file and save. I'm going to eject that and I'm going to try it again. So I'm back plugged in, uh, so let's plug it in and see what happens. Same little white flashing dash at the top. Okay, so that hasn't worked, so it must be something else. So I'm back on my Mac and let's have a look and see, so maybe I need to put it somewhere slightly different in that file. Maybe I can't have spaces. So let's go back to the boot file command line dot text so there's the bit I added but do I need to I think I'm going to try putting it right at the start let's pop it there and then maybe oh it's got a space there anyway there are spaces within here let's give that a try file save eject that pop it back in the pie and let's plug in again try again mm, still got the same white dash oh hold on yeah it works now, I did look in, uh, I put that into Google. So I found a thread, and I'll put a link to this thread in the description uh, where someone had probably had something similar as an issue. And I found, so someone had said, uh, this bug is gone if I add USB storage quirks 
uh, entry to the command line.txt, but this actually disables the USB 3 mode, slower speed. But lower down, someone says, uh, yeah, P33M says the quirk setting doesn't disable USB 3 mode, it disables UAS mass storage access. Mass storage accesses still go at USB 3 speeds, but things like multiple IO threads will be slower. So let's do a speed test. So I'm going to switch over to screen capture now. Accessories, diagnostics, run tests. Luckily, I did a test on this on my Dynamo cable earlier on, so we can see if it actually makes a significant difference. And we might as well leave this in real time because I usually cut it out. That was pretty quick. So, whoa. I think that's faster. I genuinely think that's faster. Right, so in my on my NAS drive, SD card speed versus dot text. So Sunbow 32 watts. So I did this twice uh, with my Dynamo cable. So let's go for the faster one. Let's minimize that, pop that below it. And yeah, sequential write speed is faster by quite a bit. Random write speed is slower. 6781 uh, is the older result and it was 5507. But random read speed 3951. <laughs> so it's all over the place really. So let's do another uh, test. Still very fast though. So for me, running Linux on a Pi uh, from an SSD is such a big upgrade from an SD card. Uh, and even if these scores aren't quite as fast as they were um, on the Dyna mode and, and it's up and down, I'm not really that bothered. Uh, so, yeah, we're definitely getting a faster sequential write speed. 66304347. Yeah, very weird. But it's working, and so I'm happy with that. And so... I can see if that works for different operating systems or if you try it on different operating systems that weren't working with this cable, so this sort of dual USB cable, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, but it looks like uh, it works and it works fine. So thanks very much for that tip and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.